This is our piece called Strike on Stage. Yep. I'm Lisa. And I'm Chisha Lime. Yeah, Lime. I'm Charles Martin. And we're both percussionists and media, media artists living in Canberra. been studying over the last few years is uh, ways to combine uh, computer instruments with live percussion instruments in classical music concerts. So that's my specialty in, in contemporary combining contemporary percussion and computer music. And I've been studying a Master of Music degree here at the ANU in Canberra and previously um, a science degree in computer science, mathematics and also doing music. Uh, I'm Lisa uh, Chi Sha Lai. I've uh, been studying percussion uh, as an undergraduate and then I decided to move towards media art and computer music. Uh, I'm very interested in how to combine uh, percussion performance with media art and interactive uh, design. We want to extend our uh, percussion techniques beyond playing the percussion instrument, mm -hmm. incorporating visual. A few years ago I saw Lisa doing her uh, master's project in media arts which was a uh, table kind of interface called hands on stage and it was combining a percussion instrument with a media instrument so there was the table had a web camera underneath and when you moved your hands around on the top of the table it was creating a visualization as well as a microphone in the table making sounds. So uh, we end up doing a, a new project called Strike on Stage and uh, extending the idea of audiovisual um, performance, interactive performance, and inco incorporating percussion uh, techniques and performance um, aspects into this new uh, performance. Mm, that's right. So we're using real percussion instruments as well as our computer music setup and computer visual setup, and all of the computer musical elements are controlled by our actions with our hands. So there's a camera in front of the screen which is looking at our performance and the computer can see from that when we're moving our hands in a way like we're going to go and hit a drum and then it makes a sound. Uh, that's right and uh, everything is done in two different softwares. Um, Super Collider for all the deep, uh, audio processing and Open Frameworks for computer vision uh, tracking as well as visual effects. Mm -hmm. And we have um, running both pieces of software on two computers with a network in between and they're communicating via OSC messages over the network. Okay, so what we're showing you here is the way that Strike on Stage works. Behind the screen we have eight infrared LED lights. Now the video camera that we've set up in front of the screen can only see an infrared, so it doesn't see the natural light coming from the projector, but it only sees the infrared light shining through our screen. When I put my hand in front of the screen, you can see that the infrared camera picks up the shadow very clearly. The computer that is connected to the camera runs computer vision software, which can work out where my hand is by looking at the shadow. So it looks around the outside of the hand and works out the contrast between the bright background and the dark shadow. So when we're running the program, 
we're using information from where hands or our bodies are in front of the screen to make visualizations and make music. was the most interesting thing about working with percussion and meteorite is that percussion is a very visual instrument to play. So whenever you hit a drum, there's the moment when you actually strike the instrument and then everything else is extra. And I wanted to work out ways to combine the extra motions that percussionists always use when they're performing uh, with uh, visualizations and computer media techniques. We performed our work at uh, Belcon and Arts Centre here in Canberra and then at the New Interfaces for Musical Expression Conference in Sydney. 2010. That's right, 2010 conference and the Australasian Computer Music Association Conference in 2010. We had to learn how to use open frameworks with OpenCV for Open Computer Vision uh, libraries and neither of us had programmed in C++ before so That's we had right. to learn C++. Even though there are a lot of people doing um, projects with infrared uh, computer vision tracking, I think we're probably unique in the world with our setup, and so all of the things we had to make from scratch using our own ideas about how we wanted our performance to be, how we wanted it to look like. <laughs> 